Wednesday um, and I'm panicking because I still have nothing to wear for Morgan's Christmas dinner at the weekend so oh dear I went out when the kids were doing their letter to Santa I went to get them their few bits um, so I thought I would show you what Robin's going to be wearing on Christmas Day. I did, oh, Robin, leave it there. I keep putting them out and she keeps like taking them again. <laughs> like I keep finding them scattered and all I want to do is do a quick film of them. Now, are we ready to show the guys what you're going to be wearing? This is Robin's dress for on Christmas Day morning with just a little red cardigan. This is the shirt that Obi's going to be wearing. It's just the red and navy tartan. I don't know if it can pick up exactly what it looks like. And he'll wear these with a pair of navy trousers. It's just really nice. I love it. And then we have for Obi, for when he goes to visit Santa, just a red tartan shirt with a little grey hood. And for when Robin goes to visit Santa, I tried it on her. It was kind of cute. Kind of. It was very cute. I just have a few little things to do with the sleeves. The sleeves are a bit big on her, so I'll just have to stitch them. So, and there's Robin's little dress. When she visits Santa. So we have just been catching up on Go Team Collins. I absolutely love their vlogs. I have to say, um, uh, I just have to say they're like my favorite family to watch. I love watching them because what you see is what you get. They're very nice, very genuine people. And while we were watching them, <laughs> Lobie's been playing with. What have you got? <laughs> Do you want to take it off? Will you keep putting it on? That's for Mama's baking. Mama likes it. It comes with a tray that goes inside it and you bake your cakes inside there. You don't put your head inside there. <laughs> just like he has been having so much fun walking backwards holding on to the that <laughs> oh, beep, mama, beep, sad. why is baby sad mama, the oh you best hold her and hug her if she's sad poor baby <gasps> dad is coming not yet. Well, he should be coming soon. So I was just kind of turning on uh, all the lights for the Christmas. And I, we did have tinsel on the windowsill here. And it's been really bugging me. It keeps falling down. So I took the tinsel off the windowsill, fixed up our little houses. And then I was able to put the tinsel up there. You want that? One, you won't touch it when you had it down. Obi's got that around his head again. Hey guys, I am home. I'm just doing the bottles in the kitchen and stuff like that. Um, Nina hasn't been feeling too great. She had a ghost on attack last night, so she's having a bath tonight. Hopefully as a preemptive measure, so it will help. I'm going to have to go to the shop when the kids go to sleep and pick up some painkillers and antacids. Can I push it for you? Um, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. Here you go, Baba. Nice. They both just had falls in the exact same spot, one after the other. So um, Obi's high chair was in the middle of the kitchen and they were kind of climbing on it and playing around it. But he ended up falling backwards 
over this leg when it was open and he landed backwards inside the inside the high chair and gave himself a thump on the head. So he started bawling and she started bawling because she saw how sore it was for him. And when I lifted him up to soothe him, she showed me how he fell and fell forward flat on her face in the exact same spot. And the two of them were in hysterics, so they've been given Mr. Freeze's. When Nina and I kind of joke that if a Mr. Freeze doesn't sort it, that's kind of a sign to call a doctor. Because a Mr. Freeze will pretty much cure all of their ailments. You been good? So, we have something very, 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 very special to watch tonight. Um, I'm going to see if the kids would like to watch it, and I'll probably watch it again with Nate later. Um, a hint is in the background, if you can hear that music. Anybody know what it is? So, today is the 50th anniversary of a Charlie Brown Christmas. My favorite piece of animation ever. I've watched it at least once a year for the past 32 years. So, um, it's a big deal in our house. Um, what I have is I have it on Blu-ray, so it's like a really good quality digital re restoration. I don't buy too many Blu-rays, um, but I really like getting kind of nice animations and stuff on Blu-ray, because so much work goes into doing them that it's nice to see them as they were intended. So, plan is to show the kids that when I get ready. I want to finish up with the box and see if they like it. I don't know if they will like it. Um, we're hoping over Christmas the plan is to bring Robin to see the Peanuts movie. Um, and she loves the trailers, so I think she'll like it too. Hi guys, so tonight is the night. It's Christmas card writing night. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to write out some Christmas cards, as you can see. We still only have our one. <laughs> Thank you again so much, Susan. Um, yeah, we don't seem to get Christmas cards, really. Um, we send them out, but we don't kind of really get them back, which isn't the point of sending them. We just like sending them with like photos, our family photo, and I always put like a little biblical reference. Usually it's my favorite Christmas um, biblical reference. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Hey. It's Christmas time. Do you love Christmas? I'm not in work tomorrow. I'm actually on the second part of a study day. Um, so there's that. I think I'm going to have to leave it early though because I don't have any um, one to watch the kids from three on and the study day is until half four. So I'll probably be leaving it early. But I don't really mind. If it's anything like the first part, I won't be missing out on anything. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a grump. I've just not been feeling great, so I'm just not myself today. My favorites. Oh, let me see my favorites. Oh, I like it. Nina's going for our Christmas cards. Oh yeah. These are all the Christmas cards we've gotten. Yeah. There's a couple. <laughs> There's a couple. And I keep them all and put them up every year. <laughs> We look really popular. <laughs> um, that's from our old landlord, Geraldine and Eddie. You can see I have blue tack on the back of them when I used to blue tack them on the door. <clears throat> that's from my Aunt Mary. I want to see who got us the goods. I love ones like that. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that was one we were supposed to send. <laughs> Yeah, these pop up. We just found an old card for mom and dad too. Yeah, I think, oh, this is one that we just, we like to Robin before we ever had Robin. <laughs> um, you helping, Obi? Geraldine and Eddie are landlord again, but from another year. <laughs> oh it's my favorite. That's from that's Granny one that we and Granddad. We found this, which is an old Christmas card from 2012.
What are you doing? What are you doing? Your fears. If we can find out what you're afraid of, we can label it. Uh -huh. What did you find? I did. Did you find the spoon? I did. I did. I did. If you're afraid of cats, I'm gonna. Oh. 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 Which is the fear of crossing bridges. Or maybe you have...